creators are currently making a doctor's yearly salary each month with the TikTok Creator Rewards Program, or as its previous name was, the TikTok Creativity Program Beta. The funny thing is, they're posting simple videos that literally take no more than 15 minutes to make, and it's all done with AI. In this video, I'll reveal my exact formula I use to get results like this. Not only that, I'll even reveal a brand new untapped niche that you can get into straight after watching this video, so no one will have excuses not to start making money online. Let's dive in. So, a couple of days ago, I was sitting by my desk literally doom scrolling TikTok, and just as I was about to go to sleep, I saw this motivational anime video that at first didn't look like anything special, just some anime clips and an AI voiceover. But then I took a closer look and saw 2 million likes. I clicked in on the account and saw that literally every video they posted went viral. This one, for example, got 10 million views. With an RPM of $1, which is what TikTok pays its creators in the rewards program, this account made around 10,000 that's probably more than your dad's and mom's monthly salary combined. Not to be that guy. In this video, I'll show you how you can create videos just like this in literally no more than 15 minutes. But before we get into it, there's one super important thing you gotta know. As you might have heard, the TikTok Creator Rewards Program is only available in a few countries like the US and UK. And if you're not from there, you're basically f***ed. No, I'm kidding. I've actually found a way to bypass this problem, and it's pretty simple. I found this one website that I've talked about before. They got all kinds of accounts that are made in, for example, the United Kingdom, meaning they can join the TikTok Creator Rewards Program. Regularly, you would need to reach 10,000 followers on your account, but the website actually recently added these specific accounts that are already accepted in the monetization program, meaning you earn money on your first post. I used my influencer clout and got them to send me an account to verify it works, and it actually does. I don't want to drag this out too much, but yeah, that might be a good option if you want to earn money as fast as possible. By the time this video is up, I will have forced them to give me a discount. So use the code how to AI money for a surprise. Pro tip, just make sure you read the instructions on how to access your account so that TikTok doesn't suspect you're outside the UK or US. Now, let's get into some of the other crazy stuff. First off, the script. This is probably 90% of the reason for whether your video will perform well or not. It doesn't matter if you have the greatest editing on the planet. Your video won't get any views unless you have a good script. Most creators will BS you into thinking you can create a good script with ChatGPT, which is just not the case. You'll end up with a script that sounds like it's written by a British lawyer from 1937. Your script needs to sound like a conversation if you want to connect with your audience on a deeper level. What you want to do instead is head over to this website called DubDub and click on AI Voice voiceover. It's basically an AI that's been trained to write scripts that sound natural. Click on Ask AI to Write and enter a prompt that looks something like this. I'll leave it in the description if you want to use it yourself. We're going to ask it to give us a couple of motivational quotes for a TikTok about motivation and self-improvement. Also, make sure you're telling it to use a relaxed language. Finish off by giving it an example of a good quote you wanted to replicate and how many of them you want. Generate it and read through it so that everything looks good. If you want to change anything, click on this plus button to the left and you'll be able to prompt the changes you want. There are tons of text-to-speech softwares out there, so you can really go with anyone you like. I'll go with Eleven Labs since it's free and in my opinion has the most realistic voices. So head over to the voice library and pick a voice. I'd recommend you go with some darker male voice since we're creating a video in the motivational niche. Like this one. Teach you how to be a good liar. A good liar acts like he is a bad liar. Paste the script from DubDub and generate it a couple of times until you get one you like. It'll probably sound a bit robotic at first, but don't worry. I'll show you a secret trick you can use to get your voiceover to sound pretty much more realistic than a human. Keep in mind, you can always use Fiverr or Upwork to find real voice actors, but following the tips I show later on, there is such a big difference in the costs that AI is the clear choice. And guys, I've said this before, but I'm revealing tons of good tips for growing on social media in my free community. It costs zero dollars to join, and if you don't like it, you can just leave. I highly recommend those of you that are serious about this to join it. Anyways, now that we have our voiceover ready, it's time to create our visuals. 
You can't just steal real anime movie clips since TikTok probably won't monetize it. Instead, we're going to create our own anime clips. This is also kind of a new edge on the niche since people haven't really seen it much before. We can actually create it with this crazy AI software I found a while ago. I've actually never seen other creators talk about this, so listen up. The software is called Pika. It's basically an AI that lets you design your own anime clips with just a short text prompt. I've spent a lot of time in the last couple of days studying how it works. And let's just say, I've managed to get some pretty crazy results. What you want to do is match the footage with your script. So take a look at the first couple of sentences of your script and try to describe it in as much detail as you can. Start off with the subject and then follow up with the setting and details like this. You have the option to change the aspect ratio, but I actually recommend you keep it 16.9, even though we're creating a TikTok. This is because this software is trained to create anime videos which are in 16.9. I'll show you how to crop the video later on, so don't worry about that. Then you want to change the FPS to 12 and the motion all the way up to 4. Lastly, add this right here as a negative prompt. It'll tell the AI what not to include in the video. I'll leave this one too in the description so you can copy it. To be able to use this image as a reference in the future, type in a seed number. It can just be some random numbers. This way, you'll be able to get a similar image even if you change the prompt. Let's press generate and you'll end up with something like this. If you like the result but want to make some adjustments, just change the prompt and keep the same seed number. But if you don't like it at all, you can regenerate it with the same prompt and change the seed number. So play around a little bit with this till you get a picture you like a lot that matches your vision of the video. Then you want to repeat this process until you have enough footage to cover the entire voiceover. Now let's edit it all together. I'll show this part in CapCut, which is 100% free and intuitive, but you can really use any editing software you like. Start with importing the voiceover and dragging it to the timeline. Remember the voiceover hack I told you about earlier? This is it, so listen up. What you want to do is select the razor tool and cut out all of the pauses and breaths like this. Then slightly overlap them and you'll have a voiceover that sounds better than a real human and has an actually good pace. Today I'll teach you how to be a good liar. A good liar acts like he is a bad liar. When you lie now, for the footage, import it and add it to the timeline one by one. Once added, take a step back and look at it, making sure to trim it so it matches the voiceover. Change the aspect ratio to 916 and adjust the size of the videos so it covers the entire screen. Repeat this step until you've covered the entire voiceover with footage. There's a large chance your videos will look a bit different from each other. To fix this, highlight all the clips and click on Adjustment. Drag saturation all the way down to minus 50 and brightness to minus 20. This will make the video black and white, giving a dark and cinematic vibe. I also like to add the Noise 2 effect to make it a bit more retro. This will make the clips match a lot better and give you some kind of branding. The last thing you want to do is to add some captions. 40% of people watch TikTok with low or no volume at all, which is crazy. So if you don't have any captions, all of these people will just think it's some kind of random anime video and scroll past it, which will literally make the algorithm crush your video, and not in a good way. So click on text and then on auto captions. The AI will then go through the entire voiceover and automatically transcribe it, saving you a shit ton of time. It does make some mistakes here and there though, so make sure you read them through. But even if they're correct, they're looking boring as hell, so we need to spice them up with some animations. Click on templates and you'll have tons of pre-made animations to choose from. I'd recommend you go with something quick that shows at max three words at a time. This one, for example. Now, the video looks good, but what really takes it to the next level is banging sound design. Videos that have no music to start off with sound awkward as hell. Something I've noticed also is that it feels like the pace is a lot lower without music, which is not good. So in order to master the sound design and probably do it better than all your competitors, do this. Firstly, we need to add some music, preferably something trendy since we're going to post it on TikTok. I've noticed this song going viral all over TikTok, so I'll just copy the link from YouTube and download it with Save From Net, then import it to CapCut and add it to the timeline. Since we only want the audio, right-click on it and click Extract Audio. Then make sure you turn down the volume so that it's not too loud. Today I'll teach you how to be a good liar. A good liar acts like he is a bad liar. When you lie about something insignificant, act like you have the worst poker face. Lastly, and this is probably even more important, you need sound effects. 
You could go on YouTube and search up each sound effect individually, but it's time consuming and annoying. So instead, I actually prepared a Google Drive folder with all the most viral sound effects. I don't want anything for it. It's free, so just download it through the link in the description. It's really pretty simple, but you just add the effects wherever they fit the video, like you added all the other elements. Import and drag to the timeline. Then you're pretty much done. Let's take a look at it. Today I'll teach you how to be a good liar. A good liar acts like he is a bad liar. When you lie about something insignificant, act like you have- Looks pretty damn good. Now all you gotta do is post videos like this every single day. And I'm sorry to say, but your first couple of videos will probably flop and only get a couple hundred views. You know what? I'll just let Mr. Beast explain to you how it works. Your first video is not going to give views, period. It's not. Your first 10 are not going to give views. I can very confidently say that. Make 100 videos and improve something every time. Do that. And then on your 101st video, we'll start talking. You heard him. 100 videos. Chances are you will most likely get a viral video before that if you follow all of the steps I just showed you. But just so you're ready, this is not a get rich quick. There are, however, some things you can do to improve your odds of going viral. See, SEO on TikTok is just as important as it is on YouTube, which is something I don't hear a lot of people talking about. And for those of you who don't know, SEO stands for search engine optimization, basically how to optimize your video that it shows up when people search for terms related to your topic. What you want to do is head over to TikTok Creative Center and click on hashtags. Choose your niche and you'll see all of the most popular hashtags. What I usually do is that I create a new text box when I post the video and insert all of these words that are currently trending. Then make it super small, like this, and put it in the corner of the video. This way, TikTok will link your video with those keywords and show it to people searching for those terms. Also include them in the description and as hashtags. Then all that's left to do is post the video and repeat the same process over and over again. If you really want to take this seriously, which I assume you want to since you've watched all the way here, me and my mentors have a free community with over 17,000 members where we teach stuff like this every single day. It's literally free value, so why not check it out, right? Anyway, that's it for this video. See ya!